Hey, Izana. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also make these Solo Trip episodes talking about all things spirituality and metaphysics and esoteric teachings and all of that kind of stuff. So for this video, I wanted to talk on something that I have spoken about before probably in so many goddamn videos because I feel like I repeat myself but for this video I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into the illusion of good and bad because this was something that I really did struggle to accept I guess is the right word because when you look around us you look at the world that we live in a lot of evil things happen, a lot of horrific things happen, and there is so much suffering. So I found it really hard to then like internalize and acknowledge and like accept that good and bad is an illusion and it's not actually a real thing, it's a moral thing, it's a human thing from a human perspective. But when you think about like the spiritual perspective and metaphysical perspective good and bad doesn't actually exist it's only something that we morally experience and decide you know and I feel like I have spoke about that a little bit in my video called getting lost in the distraction because I was really trying to like go through the process of accepting this fact it was something that I was working through at the time of filming that video and I wanted to talk about how this like matrix the false matrix system is such an illusion and how it can pull you into suffering so much and pull you into fear and self-doubt and all of that kind of stuff so I want to talk about the fact that like we know how this world is constructed we know that from a scientific point of view they have proven and discovered that it's all about electromagnetic waves and how they vibrate and all of those kind of things. I don't really claim to know the full science terminology but I just have a, a bit of an understanding of what it actually is you know. So if it's electromagnetic waves vibrating and all of that stuff and that's what makes up our bodies, it's what makes up the universe, it's what makes up everything in existence then like if it's so magnificent and so huge in that sense then like what are all of these human things that we're stressing about you know like it just makes it seem so small and so silly but then at the same time there are such horrible things that go on down here it's like you can't ignore it you can't avoid it because it's everywhere that you turn and like I don't watch the news or anything and I haven't watched that in quite a few years, but I still feel like it's important to know where the collective is at and where we're headed and like where the mindset of the collective is, you know. Obviously it's going to be different to different people, but it kind of goes in a natural flow and I do think it's important to be aware of those things, but at the same time, like, good and bad is not a real thing it's an illusion because it's a human level of perception it's based on perception so that doesn't mean that it's real it means that it's perception like it's something that we all agree upon you know like we all agree that things like murder are wrong but that's because we've we perceive it that way we've decided that it's that you know like we've decided that it's wrong morally so these are things that are like a human base and part of the human experience. So I'm really starting to understand how important it is to not only see the human experience and see the spiritual, but kind of meet in the middle because we are still experiencing a human experience. Like we are still having to be human. We do still feel suffering. We feel those emotions, you know, like it's personal. It's something that we really do feel in ourselves. So it's not something that we can just avoid or brush away or like act like it's not there and ignore it you can't ignore your suffering you can't act like that emotion is not there because then that's how it gets stuck and that's how you end up attached to all of these emotions which is what a lot of us have done you know we were taught to ignore our emotions and to bury it and to fake it till you make it you know like just act like it doesn't exist 
and that's how so many of us have got blockages and like trauma that we didn't even realize was there you know i know this is kind of going on a little bit of a tangent away from good and evil but at the same time like I guess this video is more about the human perspective and the spiritual perspective and then finding the balance and being able to meet in the middle and to understand both and understand that they both are right because right and wrong doesn't exist so like the po the polarizing perceptions are both true there's truth to both and you can't avoid either one of them you can't dismiss either one of them and Although it's kind of like, it's hard to go through this experience and deal with all of these like heavy, traumatic experiences. At the same time, there is a bigger picture. So like that can make you feel better, but then there'll be occasions where you don't want to think about the higher perspective. Because it's like, yeah, but I'm hurting. Like you can't just dismiss the fact that I'm hurting by being like, oh, well, it's meant to happen. You know? So. I think it's about finding the balance because whilst that is true it is meant to happen and it is something that you agreed before incarnation like it is a cycle and a, a path that you're supposed to go through to learn whatever lesson it is that you came here to learn but at the same time it doesn't take away from the pain that you're feeling and the suffering that you're feeling and the emotions that you're feeling because they are real to you in this experience you know so I just think that the key to this whole thing and the way to not get caught up in those emotions and like pulled back down into them even is to see both is to acknowledge both perspectives you know like the human and the spiritual or the metaphysical and be able to like walk that middle path of knowing i wish these sirens would stop um and be able to like walk that path of knowing like yes I'm in a human experience but I'm also way more powerful than that and yes I am more powerful than that but I'm also having to experience it from a human physical realm you know like we are restricted by this vessel compared to the vastness of what we are when we're not in a vessel so I think it's just about finding the balance in both and the whole like the construct of the way the matrix is completely well not the matrix the false matrix the fake one that they've that they have created to keep you stuck in the fear and all of these things like the way that that's been constructed even through films and stuff has really like pulled us away from that and kept us so stuck in the human these sirens what is going on today it's kept us so stuck in the human that we've forgotten how powerful we are you know like it pulls you to one or the other and then I feel like when you start going through the um like through your spiritual awakening I really hate that phrase because it just sounds so cliche and so watered down but actually that is what you're going through because it's a remembering it's opening to the truth and when you go through that process I feel like that it can be really easy and it's something that I did was like you go so far into the spiritual that you forget that you're having a human experience and then you kind of get a bit lost like you feel almost like you're floating and you're not really here and it's like you just you're not grounded you know so it really is about finding the balance between both and understanding the agenda that tries to keep you stuck in the human but then also understanding that they now because they know that the natural um flow the natural shift of where the collective is going is into awakening so of course they're now going to have to um like bring that into their agenda because they can no longer keep us completely stuck in the human the information is everywhere so we're able to find it so now they're having to try and bring more of the agenda into the spiritual to try and keep you so far into that end of the polarity that you also get lost you know so you can get lost in both directions and that also means you can get lost in both right and wrong like good and evil left and right bad and good or whatever word you want to use that like you can get lost in both ends of the spectrum 
So you can get people trying to fight, like pro-righteous, you can get people that are trying to fight for the good, people that are stuck in the bad or fighting for the bad or whatever you want to call it, like whatever word you want to use, but you just, like, they're caught off into each direction and have forgotten their heart centre and forgotten, like, yes, I am spirit, but I'm also in a human vessel. Like, they just forget, you know? And this is something that I did, and I think it's really, really easy to do. So I wanted to talk about the fact that good and bad is not real, but then at the same time, there are moral things and moral ways for things to be good and bad, you know? <laughs> but, like, even with the film, not film, the TV show um, Charmed, I honestly... I don't know if you've seen it, but I was addicted to that as a child. I used to just binge watch it. I literally watched every single episode, probably at least five times over, because I just kept on watching it. And it occurred to me recently that the source is the source of all evil. Like, the evil character in that show is called Source. And Source is a word that I use for, for like all that there is, you know, which I guess you could say is the good, but actually it's not just the good, it's everything, it's the good and the bad, because the good and the bad doesn't exist, so like, they've called it the source of all evil in Charmed, which effectively makes you kind of, um, like you fear that source, because you think it's the source of all evil, so then you kind of fear yourself, because good and bad, like it's, it's an illusion, it doesn't exist, so it's all a part of you, it's not a separate thing, you know, like everyone is a part of you, now the door again, everyone is a part of you, good and bad, it's all oneness, it's all whole, it's all a part of everything, and I'm really realising like, even them, I don't even want to name what they're called or whatever, but even the people that are creating these agendas, they really are actually a part of source. Because isn't that all that there is? Like, isn't that everything? Isn't that... It's bigger than the universe. Like, there's multiple universes and galaxies and planets. Like, if we're all a part of everything, then that means that the evil ones and the good ones that have come here to raise the collective, that means that we're all a part of it. We're all a part of everything. So they're not really good or evil. They're just, they just are. And they've come here to play these roles and these characters of being either end of those polarities, either being good or either being bad, but it's not actually real when you leave this experience and you go back to source, then it's just energy, it's just pure energy, just information, so I don't know, it's making me kind of see it from a different perspective of like, I don't need to get caught up in anger and pain and heartbreak for what they're doing but at the same time I would still stand up and morally be like no that is wrong and I don't agree with that you know so I think like it's kind of hard to find that balance and to not get triggered and caught up you know but I still think that it's that for me personally, because I'm just speaking from my experience, I still know that I would stand up for all of the things that are wrong, all of the things that are disgusting, all of the things like they're literally doing child sacrifice and organ harvesting and all of this shit. Like, none of that is right, and none of that should be happening or should be accepted. And I'm so glad that this information is coming to light so that we can destroy these systems and this behaviour and all of that shit. But then from the spiritual perspective, from the other perspective, because I don't even want to call the spiritual perspective higher anymore. I don't feel like either of them is higher or lower. They just are. So from the spiritual perspective, I also know that like it's not actually real and this is just a game. It's like a game of chess that we've come here to play. And so we don't have to like feel inferior to it or feel like they are more powerful than us or they have more control than us or that they are gonna like do you know what I mean because it really does pull you down into feeling inferior and feeling like almost helpless like we can't do anything but at the same time it's not even real 
<laughs> but obviously it is real while we're here so it's like a complete contradiction but I just am really learning to try and internalize and accept the fact that it's not real and it is a game and we all agreed to it before we came here but at the same time we are here now and we are experiencing it and so we should stand up for what is right and get rid of what is wrong but we don't need to fall into the fear of what is wrong because it's not actually real. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't even know. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about that and touch on that because it did dawn on me that like they literally are calling the source, the source of all evil, but really the source is everything. So, you know, <laughs> and the source is you. So it's like they're literally fighting themselves because they're fighting the darkness within themselves. But darkness isn't even bad you know, like, oh, honestly, this is such a rabbit hole, but yeah, so I don't know if I even want to touch on anymore, let me check my notes and make sure that I actually went through everything I wanted to say, because I feel like I could just keep on going, and then I'll sound completely crazy and weird, <laughs> and maybe I'll just leave this video there, because I don't think I'm ready to spiral just yet, you know, <laughs> so really, it's just all perspective, and that is kind of why I wanted to make these videos because I am just sharing my perspective and I know that a lot of people when they get on YouTube they will talk about topics that they fully internalize like they start to really understand it and then they're sharing with the people that watch their videos like they're sharing what they know and what they've learned but something that I've realized for myself is that I'm not really filming videos like that anymore I don't really enjoy that either because I feel like that's teaching and that's not really what I'm here to do. I feel like I like to actually share my process of everything. So oftentimes I end up coming on here and I'm like being a bit repetitive, but I'm just processing. Like I'm literally on here just in the middle of the process of understanding it. And then I don't know, you can just take whatever resonates and leave whatever doesn't, you know? So yeah. Thank you for listening to me ramble and try to understand myself because I appreciate you and hopefully that will help you understand it yourself because we are all a part of Source and we all have access to the same information, you know. So thank you so much for listening and watching and I hope this also helps you understand like what I was talking about in this video was good and evil and such a like um, a big scale of like suffering in the world but you can also take that into your own lives and think about like in friendships and in romantic relationships and like good and evil in that sense you know as above so below so it'll also work in smaller scales and like more personal things and your personal experiences as well in the sense that like they are here to play a role so yes somebody may have done something wrong to you they may have wronged you but they are here to play a role and then you can understand that from that spiritual perspective of they incarnated and you have soul agreements and you agreed to play those characters with each other then also understand on the human perspective that like this person hurt my feelings, this person did something that doesn't sit right with me, they don't resonate, you know, and when you can take both perspectives, then when you go to move forward and you decide whether to keep that person in your life or not, like you have both perspectives rather than just one, you have, you can see the bigger picture, you can see the full picture and then you can do what you need to do in the best way that serves you and the way that's going to like be right for you and feel best for you, you can take that full picture rather than having like the closed mind on just the suffering or just the oh my god, it's fine, like, I have no boundaries, because we're all one, you know, like, you need a balance of both, so yes, anyway, <laughs> I hope that was helpful, thank you so, so much for listening on the podcast apps, and watching on YouTube, I really, really appreciate you, and I hope that this, like, made some sense, but, um, I'm sure, like, as I internalize it more, I'll probably make another video on it with even more perspective, so, you know, we're just going along this journey together, so. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to check out the description box below. All links to my music, social media, my phone number. If you want to text me, we can chat. You know, we're like, we're really on this journey together. So don't be afraid to reach out. I will respond to everyone. You can DM me as well on Instagram or Twitter or on Facebook. 
or Snapchat. <laughs> I have everything down below. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Oh, yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, think you might. I'm the thing you like, in my range all white. Oh, yeah, think you might. I'm the thing you like, in my range all white.